Hey there, and thanks for watching. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through a custom GPT that we created here at ACRE called the Real Estate Case Studies Creator Assistant. This is a GPT that allows you to create custom case studies and technical exams that you can use either to practice, to gauge the proficiency of say job candidates, or to give to students if you're a professor to help them develop their own skills in real estate financial modeling. So let's get started. Now this custom GPT was developed by our own Arturo Parada, and it's been trained on the case study library that we have developed at ACRE over the last five years. And if you're unfamiliar with our case study library, uh, on the front end of ACRE, we have, I wanna say 10, 11, 12 cases that we have shared. Uh, on the back end in our ACRE Accelerator, we have 30 plus cases that we use as part of our case-based curriculum in the Real Estate Financial Modeling Accelerator program. Now, what this GPT is meant to do is to build now custom cases that you can use for whatever purpose you see fit uh, and an unlimited number of them. So imagine that you are a young professional, you're in the final round of an interview with a real estate private equity firm, and they are uh, going to put you through a technical exam. And you wanna prepare for that. And perhaps you've gone through all the cases in our case study library, or you wanna build a custom case specific to the firm that you are hiring or, or you're interviewing at. You can use this custom GPT to develop cases for that. Imagine you're a professor and you have an assignment on hotels and none of the case studies in our library really fit what you're looking for. Rather than you going through the exercise of developing a case, you can use this custom GPT at least to create the draft of the case and then you can embellish on it from there. And finally, imagine you're a hiring manager, you have three candidates in your final round, you wanna run them through some level of technical proficiency, and you want to get started with a case, this GPT will produce at least the first draft for you. And then you would take that and like the professor embellish on it to arrive ultimately at, at a technical exam that you can give your potential candidates. So over the next few minutes, I'm going to put myself in the shoes of each of those individuals, uh, drop in a prompt, see what the output looks like. And hopefully this walkthrough will arm you with what you need to use this GPT. So let's start with the young professional. Now, in order to use the GPT, you'll first need to have a Chat GPT Plus Enterprise or Teams membership. As of at least April 2024, OpenAI requires that premium version in order for you to use any custom GPT, including the ones that we build here at ACRE. Assuming you have that, you would open up the custom GPT. I'll include a link either in the blog post where this is shared to or in the description of the video on YouTube. And you'll come and arrive at this page. And the best way to start, uh, assuming you are wanting to prompt it in English, is here along the left, we have a couple test prompts. Or you could simply prompt, let's get started. But I'm going to start with uh, create a, I want to create a real estate case study. So I click that. And that now the GPT has been trained to ask for certain information from us. Now, before I started this video, in order to speed this along, I produced a prompt or a response to this first question. But in essence, it's asking what property type should the case study use? What's the investment strategy? What is the role of the protagonist in the case? What type of company does the protagonist work at? Should the case be written in English or Spanish? And then finally, do you want to generate an image that reflects the context of the case? So perhaps you're the professor or the hiring manager and you want an attractive image to go along with your case study. And so we're gonna answer that. Now I'm going to add additional details. Uh, the more we give the GPT, the better the output is. And so uh, again, in advance of this, I produced a prompt that looks something like this. I say, I'm preparing for a technical interview for a junior analyst position at a major real estate investment trust specializing in multifamily assets. I need to demonstrate my understanding of financial modeling and real estate. Please generate a case study where I am an investment analyst evaluating a potential acquisition of a multifamily property. So I start out and likely uh, I have been given guidance from the firm that I am looking to work at, or I'm, I, I have an interest in multifamily. And so this is a case that I wanna practice with. 
And so I give it that guidance, acquisition, multifamily. Then I answer the questions, the property types, multifamily, the investment strategies, acquisition, role of the protagonist, investment analyst, type of company, a REIT, uh, language in English, and then finally, now no need to generate an image. Finally, to, uh, finally, I say, could you provide additional details or scenarios that are common in multifamily acquisitions, especially focused on financial metrics like IRR, cash and cash return, and occupancy rates? Also, include a section on risk analysis and how market changes could affect the investment. So that's my prompt back. It's quite lengthy, but again, the more detail you provide the GPT, the better the output is going to be. And I just hit enter. And now the GPT is going to produce for me a case study. So let's give it a second to do that. All right, so it finishes the case and it starts, it, it's quite, quite good. Props to Arturo who trained this GPT well. So this case is the Ridgewood Apartments Acquisition. You are an analyst at Pine Bridge Properties Read, a prominent real estate investment trust with a focus on multifamily residential properties across the United States. Pine Bridge is exploring strategic opportunities, so on and so, so forth. So this gives you the background. Then the opportunity, Ridgewood Apartments, 200 unit complex, mix of one, two, and three bedroom units. Uh, the total size of the building, current occupancy rate. Uh, then they give the financial details. More high level, but they asking price 36 million, what the average rent is, what the gross potential rent 2.88 million is, what the operating expenses are as a percentage of effective gross income, cap rate, projected rent growth, projected expense increase, and then vacancy rate. And then there's something around investment strategy. The strategy involves acquiring the property, implementing minor cosmetic upgrades to enhance unit uh, interiors, adjusting the rent, the upgrades are expected to cost this amount, some financial metrics to keep in mind, some risk analysis. That was something that we had, had specifically asked it to produce for us, some sensitivity analysis, some decision criteria. In essence, we need to hit a minimum 12% IRR. And then finally, some tasks. Prepare a detailed financial model incorporating the acquisition costs, financing structure, revenue projections, and operational expenses. Conduct a sensitivity analysis to understand the potential impacts of key financial and market variables and present a comprehensive investment memo to Pine Bridge's investment committee outlining the opportunity. And so now I have a case, a real case that I can practice from. Now, it's fairly simplistic if you look at the financial metrics and the financial details. And we might ask it, so we could prompt it back and say, let's add additional line items. For instance, I, I would like it to add some line items around other income, around a vacancy factor. I'd love for it to give me some operating expense line items that I could work from, or a, a, and CapEx. How should I think about CapEx? And so if you are, say, an Accelerator member or an Accelerator graduate, you'll already know what line items you would like it to add to the analysis. Or you might just keep it simple this way. My question is, okay, I'm supposed to calculate 40% of gross, effective gross income, but it only gives me the gross rent number. What I also need is other income and vacancy. So I would like it, I guess it does give me vacancy here, but I would at least need it to give me some other income assumptions to use in order to arrive at effective gross income. But otherwise, it's quite good. So that's the first scenario. You're a young professional preparing for a real estate technical interview. Here's a great case to study. And by the way, I can prompt this an unlimited number of times and create an unlimited number of scenarios that I can use to practice. All right, scenario two. So I'm going to now create a new chat and this refreshes it all back to its stage one. And likewise, I'll go, okay, I want you to create a real estate case study. Now in this case, we are a professor drafting a case for a university real estate finance course. Uh, and so again, it asked me the same questions. In this case, I drafted a prompt that's more specific to the professor. So I would come back to the GPT and I would say, hey, I'm a professor designing a case study for our university course on real estate finance. I need to create a detailed scenario that challenges students to evaluate a value-add investment strategy for an office property, for instance. The case should highlight the financial model intricacies of such an investment, including the potential for capital improvements, lease-up strategies, and exit planning. And then I get into this property types office. It's a value-add investment strategy. 
role of the protagonist would be a development associate. Type of company is a developer. And then let's do this in English. Let's not generate an image. And then please include specifics such as purchase price assumptions, renovation costs, projected lease rates, occupancy levels. Also incorporate a section where students need to analyze different financing options and their impact on the investment returns metrics. Conclude with questions that encourage students to consider the ethical implications of redevelopment and its impact on existing tenants. So that's my prompt. Let's see what case the GPT produces for us. It completes the case. And then again, it begins with a background. Uh, you are a development associate at Urban Innovations, then an opportunity, some purchase details, value add strategy, lease up strategy, exit strategy, financial modeling requirements, uh, projected cash flows over a five year hold period, incorporating the renovation period and lease up, calculation of both unlevered and levered IRR and equity multiple, and then analysis of net present value of the investment. Here's the financing options that we asked for. Uh, I don't particularly like them. Uh, a and C make sense. I would need to embellish a bit on B. It's saying that we would add a, a mez tranche, but then doesn't give us any details about the senior. So I don't know if they're implying that this would be on top of option A. Maybe that's what it implies. And so I, me as the professor would need to embellish on that a bit. And here's that ethical considerations component that we asked it to add to this case study. And then finally, some questions. And so now I have a case. Now, in fairness, uh, if this is the case study I'm going to be presenting to students, this would simply be the beginning. And then I would then take this and add on. I would need to create an answer key for this so that I understand how to test the students against right, some answer key. Uh, but this is a great start. And you're going to see something similar now in our third scenario, which is a hiring manager creating a real estate financial modeling test. So again, I'll create a new chat for this custom GPT. Uh, this time I'm going to click the se second button, create a case study for a commercial real estate deal. And again, the GPT is going to ask the same questions. Uh, and so I've crafted a prompt. Let me paste that prompt in here. It's, it's still writing, but I've already crafted the prompt. And the prompt is, I'm a hiring manager at a prominent commercial real estate investment firm looking to assess the proficiency of final round candidates for a real estate analyst role. The test should focus on an industrial property acquisition scenario, testing candidates' ability to handle detailed financial analysis, including debt structuring, cash flow projections, and exit strategies. And I might even add here, I am a hiring manager at... Uh, let's see, ABC Investment Management. And that way we have now the protagonist. The property type is industrial acquisition, acquisition analyst type of company and in, uh, investment management firm. And it's ABC Investment Management, uh, language English. In this case, let's actually have it create an image for us. Please generate a case study that includes a complex financial model with assumptions about market conditions, rent growth, and expense management. The scenario should include the analysis of levered and unlevered returns, debt service coverage ratio, sensitivity analysis, and with a section where candidates must rec recommend whether to proceed with the acquisition based on their analysis. So very simple instructions that I gave it. You might embellish those further depending on how you underwrite uh, deals at your firm. Send the message. Let's see what test or case study it produces for us. So it finishes the case. Before we get to the, the next step of this, let's just come back up and we'll see ABC Investment Management Industrial Property Acquisition gives us a background, the opportunity, the logistics hub industrial park, 500,000 square feet of multi-tenant industrial space, some acquisition details that we would likely need to embellish on further. It has an average in place rent. We don't know if it's triple net, gross, some something in between, um, has operating expenses, but no specific line items. We may or may not want that. Uh, gives us though some financing, financial assumptions, uh, the task itself, conclusion. And so likewise, we would begin to embellish on this. Either we could prompt it back and forth. We could, we could ask the GPT to add certain line items and it would do that. Or we could just manually add those ourselves once we export this. Uh, 
it concludes the case study requires you to demonstrate comprehensive financial analysis skills, deep understanding of industrial real estate market dynamics and strategic thinking regarding long-term investment profitability and risk management, right? If you recall, we asked it to also produce an image and it says to accompany your analysis, a detailed graph illustrating the projected cash flows, IRR and sensitivity analysis results will be generated. Now let's create an image. Now I don't want that image. Uh, let's produce a different image. One that visualizes the investment itself, okay? So now it's going to use Dolly 3, its built-in image diffusion model to produce an image for us that we can use as a visual uh, for say the cover letter of this case study. So here's the image. Maybe we like it, maybe we don't. Now what's cool is we can click the image itself and this would open up the image and we can ask for it to, to make changes. So for instance, we could highlight this section here. Oops, oh, click this button, select. So we could select a section and we could ask it to add a lake. And so it, it should, and, and these sort of features very much are still in beta. Uh, OpenAI improves these tools every week. As of April 2024, I haven't found these editing tools particularly useful, but let's see what comes up with. Let's see if it actually is able to add a lake to this image. Okay, so it, com and it does. Actually, that lake isn't horrible. So it adds a lake. And, and so anyway, you can use that as now as a tool to edit the image itself. The, the last thing we can do if we want is we can say, great, now export this case study to Word please include the image in the word file. Now, I'm not sure if it'll be able to, to add the image, but it certainly could export the case, the written component of the case to Word, which you can then go in and edit formatting and so forth. So let's see what it produces. So it did create a Word doc. Let's open it up and see what it produced. So here we have our Word doc. It's formatted. It just contains the case, doesn't include the image as I suspected. We could then just drop in the image itself. And there you have our real estate case studies creator assistant custom GPT. Hope you make good use of it. If you have any questions, any comments, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks for your time.